Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to record voice memos using your iPhone. This is particularly useful if you're doing voiceover recordings like this, where you're talking on camera and you want a second recording. It could be in a boardroom with a conference. It could be a live event. It could be music. It could be a narration over the top of a video. Any type of audio recording can be achieved directly on the iPhone using the built-in microphones at the base of the iPhone itself, or if you wanna get slightly improved sound, especially when you're doing close-up voiceover type work, you can use the microphone built into the headset that came with the iPhone. And by doing that, you'll eliminate some of the echo that's available and present in a room, and also minimize some of that distracting background noise. But nonetheless, you can actually get a very decent sound if you bring up the microphone really close to the vocal source directly from the iPhone. So there's a number of different ways of getting audio in and uh, the quality is, you'll find, going to be very adequate for most occasions. Be careful not to move your phone around too much because it will pick up some interference and distracting noises along the way. So keep your phone really solid and you should get a really good result. Moving on to how to actually use the app itself. As I mentioned earlier, tap into the utilities folder in order to access the voice memo app. Or if you want to find it along with any other app on your iPhone, you can use the search toolbar, which can be accessed by swiping down from about halfway down the iPhone. And that will bring up the search toolbar. You can type the word voice memos in or voice memo, and that will bring up the voice memos app tap on it and you're ready to go. So for the second part of this demonstration, I'll show you how to create your own recording, how to edit and also how to share the audio file with other users or directly to your computer for further editing. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so when you tap on the Voice Memos app for the first time, you'll open it up and there'll be a blank page to start with and a large record button at the bottom of the screen. So obviously to start your recording, all you need to do is tap that red record button. And as soon as you do, you'll notice a waveform appear towards the bottom of the screen, which indicates that you're in recording mode. It'll have a counter to show you how long you've been recording. And you can literally see that waveform as the recording progresses. When you've finished your audio, simply tap that red button again, the audio will stop and it will save it down as a file for you ready to share or edit. So in order to go back and preview that audio file, tap on the play button and you can listen to your audio to make sure that everything is okay. Now, if you wanna go in and make an edit to your recording, either cutting the front, the end of the recording or somewhere in between, or if you wish to do an indent to record over a part of that recording, you can actually go into the edit mode, which you can access by tapping on the three dots just next to the play button, tap on that and go into edit recording. So you can then move the playhead to any position on the timeline and you can start to replace that audio. So let's go towards the very end and let's say I wanted to replace that last section of audio. Tap on the replace button and you can then record over that last section. Pause when you're finished and you can then resume, pause, resume and so on until you get your final recording exactly the way you want it to be. Now, if you need to edit out specific sections of the recording, you can use the advanced editing tool, which you can access by tapping on the blue icon to the top right hand corner of the waveform. When you tap on that, you'll notice the waveform appears highlighted in yellow and just below is a scroll bar that lets you select your in and out points with the left and right arrow. So in order to cut out a section of the recording, let's just scroll along to the middle of this waveform. That'll be my in point. So I'll use the left scroller to get to that in point. And then I'll use the right scroller to get to the out point that I wanna cut. So now, I'll be able to delete that single section of audio by tapping on the delete button. Now, if you want to just trim out the in and out points of the complete audio file, you can use the trim option instead. So you can navigate to your in point, navigate to your out point, trim, 
and then anything outside of the in-out points selected will be deleted from the audio file. When you finish that process, tap on the save button and your audio file will be saved down into the file directory. And you can then go ahead and share that file with other users, send it over to another device by tapping on the share button at the bottom of the screen. So I can share it to my iMac, text it to myself, email it, or even share it on various social media and file sharing apps and so on. So there you have it, a very quick overview of how to use the voice memo recording app on your iPhone. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. There's lots more tutorials on the iPhone on creativity and productivity software, along with product unboxing and reviews. So if you wanna see more of that type of content, be sure to subscribe and you'll be notified as soon as they're released. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. Bye for now.